Hello guys, welcome back. This is part two. So let's get started. Apps and tweaks option menu. Now we have this number one option is take a high definition screenshot. Basically, this helped me a lot because when I was creating the themes and I wanted to show to you how a system looks like from my actual screen instead of using the camera to take my screen, this one actually takes a screenshot over the screen. And what it means, like, you know, you can go to the ES. Uh, I use this, for example, I connect with uh, Patty and uh, SSH and I open up my two, uh, my toolkit and I have it on this option, take a screenshot and on my playbox or my TV or whatever, I have where I want to be and let's say I want to have a screenshot of the gameplay of something or I want to have something to show you uh, from uh, the ES or anything I, I'm doing basically. So if you select this one, it will just take a screenshot of your what shows on your screen and it will save with a timestamp down to the second because you might have many that are taking. So it's nice to be saved by second. So I added this feature and it goes to the shared folders of Samba shared folder that you have if you go to your Windows Explorer or your network explorer and you put backslash backslash playbox and you press enter you're gonna see all these options that we have on playbox all the samba search that you can access the home directory the roms directory you can access the configs and all these nice stuff that i have added and the four uh, initial ones that retro files that i've had so you can see now a folder share that called screenshots and you can grab that uh, full HD um, screenshot from there and you can post it to your uh, Discord or your channel or your blog or whatever you want. Now, the option two, the game list view for the two play themes. As you know that I created six new themes uh, based on the original code of uh, Epic Noir uh, theme and uh, it has uh, an updated uh, um, code and that's what this does too it uses the options that I have and um, it will give you the three options so I'm gonna go in and you can see that uh, as I explained in the video you can have the single window art which is the image or the screenshot of the game then we just play the video on top after a one or two second delay then we have the dual window art the second option so if you are gonna have the image under the game list which is the default one that I've set and a big snaps video on the right side above the description and the last option is the dual window art but we have a full game list as option one and then we have the uh, box art or the image art and the snap video on the right side next to each other with smaller size so you have all of my themes that they have uh, the word in to play you can uh, apply any of this and you can have uh, to your liking a different uh, setting again it's safe nothing to worry basically I can just do this it says okay done I'm gonna cancel that I don't want to restart I'm gonna go back so the system will restart and just you're gonna see your game list already done that, that's why as I said everything's automated I don't want you to do any extra steps on your side so I'm gonna go back in game list views and see the last four options now on my systems another option that you have because some of you uh, that wanted to have the scrolling of the system vertically or horizontally so now you have the options to apply uh, the default is the horizontal uh, browsing of the emulation station systems or you can have the original of Chiquello old original uh, theme that was vertical so you can change and swap between uh, browsing the system vertically or horizontally so you can apply this from here now we go back now we have number three which is retro arts main visual options shaders smooth filters and so and etc so we'll go in so this is all the options i have here so the shader selections i, I wanted you to uh, know in advance that the arcade systems <clears throat> the 16-bit consoles um, i have used the, uh, the uh, shaders that chris 
Que Cribis provided to us uh, back in the days. Uh, it's almost one year ago, I think, to uh, myself and Virtual Man in our Discord and forums. And uh, they're very nice uh, shaders, light. And uh, I have applied it already on Playbox version 2 in these two arcade, whatever it's an arcade system or 16 bit consoles. So they have this enabled. And uh, if for some reason you don't like it, what it does, instead of you going manually in RetroArch CVG files and change it, that's what it will do. It will just enable or disable this. I should just leave it on as I have it. It's not bad, it's not heavy, and it's not a problem. Another safe option you want, if you want to test something, you can do a disable all shaders or enable all shaders. So if you do this, basically it will rename uh, the shaders folder and it will add a dot off with off capital letters. So this way when uh, the system will be restarted, it won't find that folder and everything, will, all the shaders will be disabled for all systems. That's a fast, nice, clean way. The opposite is the enable one, will remove if you have a dot off and will enable everything I have already set. Now we have the overlay options, we have enable a preset system overlay, disable one, enable all preset overlays and disable. So if you want to disable or enable all uh, bezels on Playbox uh, 2, the easy way is to do it from 9 and 10. So we just uh, disable all of these and uh, this is just to create uh, a specific one but i'm gonna make a, a specific video because since i enabled all custom playbox because i wasn't planning to do that but uh, i decided to just spend the time and i created custom bezels for all uh, the cores uh, being used and i applied uh, and i'm gonna go through this uh, with another video and tell you how easy it is uh, to um, easy it is to apply an overlay or a bezel to your playbox version 2 uh, have a system with uh, maybe a bezel that you like uh, or prefer and i'm going to present to you all the custom ones that i created uh, and i have on um, playbox version 2. one of the reasons is that i've seen images or releases that they have a folder full of files that take space and they just different kind of crappy bezels or just the general ones or uh, uh, builders they just drop things and drop things and basically they use just maybe 10 or 20 of these maximum and then there's just uh, all these useless files in there so I, pr I deleted all these things uh, and I have just basic things uh, which they left out for example the ones we have from Rick Dangerous 256 image uh, that they are arcade, uh, arcade bezels for all the arcade systems and they have uh, per ROM assignment of a bezel so if you start let's say 1942 the game it will have its own bezel instead of, instead of the um, uh, default or generic arcade which I'm going to show you another one again when I, we're just going to do the video for the arcades then I have a nice arcade cabinet um, new um, bezel that you can use and how easy as I, is as I said to enable this uh, by just using um, the Samba Ser of configs and how easy it is to apply this uh, just from your uh, computer now we go to um, number 11 and 12 and 13 14 so what it does so we have the video smooth this is the bilinear uh, effect that the creates is when you have very pixelated old um, emulators cores uh, you see that uh, as i said all this is retro arts uh, options this is not has to do it doesn't affect any of the standalone emulators as PPSPP or uh, drastic for example um, this affects only all these options affect only the ones from retro arch cores that they have this availability and these options so this video smooth it will just uh, make the graphics look smoother so if you want to enable this which is disabled in 
all uh, systems throughout the Playbox version 2, you can select one uh, system to enable it or disable it. Basically, if you run the system, I'm going to run one. You can see this, it says, I will display a list of all systems in configs folder. Um, keep in mind, only virtual scores can use video smooth options, it's as I just said that now. By default, it's disabled. Tip, disable shaders or just for this system. If you can't see full list, use below keys to scroll or exit list. So if you, spread, if you press space on your keyboard, it will display next uh, number of lines of text, uh, which is equal to current si uh, screen size. Then we have the return, we will display, uh, display next key lines of text uh, uh, by one. And then we have D, scroll uh, lines, key lines, current scroll size initially 11. And then we have the Q, which is going to quit from the list. It says, please type the name, system name, as shows in the configs folder. So this is something you need to know. From the list you're going to see, uh, this script will just show you what is uh, the availability. And it tells you, do not type, uh, for example, if you want to have to apply this to the NES, you have to type NES lowercase, not NE capital or uh, then the rest, small, lowercase or all uh, uppercase. It's very case sensitive, Linux is case sensitive, so you have to do that. So I'm going to press any key to continue, and there you are. You're going to see all the available, available folders and configs. And uh, as I said, you can apply this only to the one that has a core um, enabled. So it says, so which system you'd like to enable the video smooth? Um, I don't want anything for the time being so I'm gonna just kill the script and go back I'm gonna start again and I'm gonna go back to oops I'm gonna go to retro arts and we we'll go all the way down which is all video smooth uh, on and disable from uh, that's one of the reasons I have to uh, say a few things to you and uh, make these videos because if you start doing things from uh, you've seen or in the past from other builders or other guides uh, in the past, uh, they're, uh, to me they're obsolete for Playbox version 2. Uh, I've made specific things uh, and very clean RetroArch.cpg files in its config file. They have specific lines that they have or the needed options that they work with the scripts so if you mess up something or if you change something the scripts they won't work so you have to get familiar with the structure of this retro uh, arc cvg file that i have that are very small you're never going to see a huge file that we've seen in the past in some builders that you can see an actual 100 plus kil kilobyte uh, retro arc cvg file which is the main one being copied over to the uh, specific system CVG uh, and uh, it's just very very clean the same goes for the core options for that specific file you're never gonna see overrides that they're gonna create all this messy crappy extra info <clears throat> you can even test an override which is again not needed because once I show you what to do you won't read any override by folder you won't read any override per game uh, it's very very easy to do so we go back now sorry just to say like this number 13 14 it was it would be equal to the other options above 5 6 or 9 11 so this one will run and enable this option to every single retro arc cpg file or core on playbox or disable it that's it so the default is number 14 for the video smooth so we go back now we have uh, something that a lot of people requested in the past. This is the hide or show a system. I'm going to go in and uh, it says you can hide any system in the ROMs directory. Some are visible due to the SH file in there. I, I made sure uh, because of uh, um, the request of Rick Dangerous. So a lot of things are, uh, let's say, not visible, but they are there because they are needed. For example, the DOS box requires this file to run and uh, the same thing goes for the ScumVM requires this but it's not being seen on the <clears throat> uh, 
uh, the game list. So we have, uh, you'll see a list of, uh, it says, it's similar to what uh, we just run there. You're gonna see a list again, you can select and you have to type, you need a keyboard to do this. So we're gonna go back and uh, onward and we're gonna see, now we have the hide. People in the past were asking me, oh, to play, how can I hide the RetroPie options menu from the AS? It's your personal choice, you don't want it, that's fine. You just select number one, you hide it, and if you wanna bring it back, you just do uh, option two. Now, if you wanna have a specific one, you can hide the system or show the system. Um, keep in mind, uh, this applies to systems that the region script does not include or engage or uh, hides uh, bases or your choices. So the last option, number five, is the show and restore all hidden systems. So basically, if you have hidden quite few and you want to enable all of them, uh, I suggest you just go here and we just restore all of them and um, then just go and apply the original script. So we will just do the rest. And we go back. Now we have the two play music selections. We we'll go here and you have three music selections, um, which is the one, the two play selections that I used to have on uh, version one. We have the royalty free tracks that you listen to the video, uh, the previous video. And then we have a custom mix. This is a folder that the builder can use and put their own music in there and just select this option and we'll apply the uh, music that exists in there. I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna put my royalty free tracks back. Okay, and we go to the menu. So let's continue. We have the skyscraper by Lars. So I can start it. This is if you wanna scrape. It says you need the keyboard connected and now it tells you if you're going to start it or not so i can press enter and we'll go back to the menu otherwise you just press yes and follow up the questions and just give your answers and then scraper will run and do the job for you all right guys i'm going to stop now so you can continue with the second half of uh, the part two on the next video thank you for watching